Okay guys, Chocolate here and welcome to my YouTube channel and actually this is gonna be this is gonna be uh not eating words <laughs> uh, my art vlog so in this video you're gonna see a lot of interesting stuff that I actually draw a couple of stuff and prepping my next art journal I'm so excited you're gonna see that I'm very excited as well to show you guys because I missed a lot my art journal to be honest so yeah i hope you enjoy it and uh, talk to you guys soon and just like that it's finally summer after so many rainy days of june we can finally go to the beach and go for a very long walks but i'm gonna talk about the walks on the beach and going to the sea and stuff like that later in this video Point out that this video is not sponsored because I'm gonna use some materials here in this video uh, and I'm gonna try my best to give links to all of the materials that I'm using like for example I'm using canvases small canvases size 20 by 20 um, professional canvases I have to check out what they call because there are new canvases that I'm actually using uh, Fabriano Gentile paper you're gonna see why a bit later uh, my Mary oil paints uh, master quarters from never palette and Rosa I think I'm saying this correctly this is a Ukrainian oil paint that I re quite recently found but I'm gonna talk more about the oil paintings further in this video so in the segment of the video you see me binding my new adrenal and like i said in the intro i'm very excited i'm so happy that i finally have my adrenal back like this is my vo 5 like i said i didn't say it in, in the intro but yeah this is my fa fifth yeah it's actually my fifth um Arjunal that I do for myself and there is a funny story when I start using Arjunals I was searching for something on Pinterest some kind of a reference I search, I was searching for something to inspire myself I had kind of a out of book this is just to point out this was a couple of years back and I saw so many uh, wonderful inspir inspirational kind of a um, artworks in I saw uh, on, on the top or in the beneath our journal and I was like what <laughs> uh, why I didn't know about that and just like that I decided okay I'm gonna make my own art journal and I saw kind of a um, um, tutorial somewhere I don't remember where how to bind uh, the paper so I can make my own sketchbook and I saw it I think once or twice and I found my favorite paper from Fabriano Gentile the watercolor paper because I'm using also Fabriano Academica but I use it for different uh, purposes and I decided to try out so find a paper get it um, fold it and bind it together it, it was a very fun experience to be honest because when I finish it and making the, the final sketchbook I decided to be my art journal because I even back then a couple of years ago I started to, to repurpose my sketchbooks what I mean by that so I'm having different sketchbooks Honestly, I have a lot of sketchbooks currently, but I use several sketchbooks at the same time for different purposes. Like I have a sketchbook that is only for um, 
Anatomy studies, I have a sketchbook that is only for going out to be my travel uh, journal. Oh, not journal, my travel sketchbook. I have a small one that I wanted to do something uh, like small doodles. I have other that is only for fan arts or something like that. I have one that is only for fan arts, but they are for one particular game that I'm not gonna talk now. When I finish it, you're gonna see it. So, yeah. And why not having an art journal? I also have a color journal, again made with the same paper. And when I finish it, I take it to my grandmother to see it because I told her over the phone that I'm doing something and she was like, okay, when you finish it, just show it to me. And I show it to her and she was like, that's actually a very good job. Even though my first one was kind of a not very well done, to say at least, <laughs> but she said you can do much better and she told me that my grandparents, actually her parents, were also into this kind of business of making uh, stuff by hand, like making binding uh, notebooks and I was very excited because apparently I, I get that from them at one point but I also love to create stuff and I love to craft my own uh, sketchbooks and I have done this so many times now and I develop a new system trying the uh, new types of way to bind my own sketchbooks and um, I find it my own way even though I didn't have all of the tools that are usually necessary to bind a sketchbook or to make a book or stuff like that is just handmade and I made it for myself also I did have a couple of commissions for sketchbooks for different people like I have sent um, some that are from to UK some are currently maybe they're done with it <laughs> in Germany and one in France and several here in my country but I just like and love making this and honestly for me my art journal is to to use it to to have everything in it and just like that you saw that my uh, phone actually fell so you cannot see everything but at least you see me gluing it at least part of it you can see but yeah <laughs> <laughs> and after I glue it I need to to to, to rest for a bit I learned that uh, after doing this for quite some time now, I developed new ways to approach uh, making the art journals or making my own sketchbooks because I have made some several sketchbooks for myself. And now I'm done with the glue. And what I need to do it to put it between Assassin's Creed um, collection book. It's a beautiful book. <clears throat> and the other books and this segment is actually from the last weekend of June I had a visit from my good friend I'm gonna see who and I'm gonna tell you who she is we had so much fun it was an amazing day it was an amazing weekend and this is she this is Emilia from Belligionale Engineer She's an amazing person, girl, you're awesome. And if you want to know more about Bullying Journaling, I definitely highly recommend you guys to go check her um, channel. I'm gonna leave a link below into the description so you can go and check it out. And she's having an awesome teams and explaining a lot of stuff because I'm still considering myself to be a newbie in the uh, Bullying Journal community in general. But she is doing that for, for a very long time. So, yeah. And now I'm doing the second of three oil paintings in size 20 by 20 centimeters. I don't know what size is this in inch. So, sorry, I have to check it out. I will try my, I will try and try to force myself to learn different, um, <laughs> ways to say this not only in centimeters but also in inch but that's probably for our next video we shall see and uh, this 
commission is very important for me because it was made for someone that is very close to, to me and is also a family member. And uh, honestly, I have to go out of my comfort zone because usually I don't draw with that kind of warm colors, even though it's uh, it's suited because for the poppy flower. It's very suited because there uh, is an, there are ideas for the three um, um, commissions, but still I'm kind of forcing myself to use more warm colors. It's just I prefer to use more blue, green, and uh, pressure blue. But honestly, I like the end result of this one. It's kind of popping out and speaking somewhere. And this is one of the things I actually like about that. And you see me using a lot of oils. I prefer to have this kind of a brush strokes to be more visible, to have this relief kind of feel because I'm an impressionist in general. My whole approach of my artwork is impressionistic. Even in my sketches, in my watercolors, in my digital art, if you like, considering that I'm having uh, a lot of colors popping out everywhere from my digital artwork, is the same thing with my oil paintings. And just to be uh, to be very honest, I love drawing with oils. And in the summer, it's much easier because they dry much, 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 much faster. Um, if I lay it out on the terrace, it will be dry out for like two days. But truth to be told, the the final uh, drawing process of an oil painting is taking a bit more longer than two or three days. Even so, I just love drawing with oil paints. And I just have to tell you guys which of the materials that I'm using for this oil painting I have to check out for the canvas because the canvas is something new it's high class but I never tried this before and it's a pre -gesso. I didn't add um, another layer of gesso because I don't have it yet but I'm considering to buy a gesso pack I'm using a palette knife and also I'm using uh, Mimeri, Italian high quality oil paints, uh, Master Quas from Neva Palette, Sunet from Neva Palette oil paints, and the new that I bought there, Ukrainian Rosa or Rosa. I'm not sure where is the, uh, which way is much better to say it. I hope I didn't butcher it. So yeah. I had so much fun making this one. And now for one of my digital sketches. Yeah, I draw several things at the same time and um, at one point they all will be finished. So yeah, this one is a fan art of Guarok from Destiny 2 game. You may know that I also am a gamer, but I don't play with Warwalks for so many reasons. One of them is because I cannot jump with the Warwalk. It's just not happening with me. I don't know. But I'm having so much fun making this Warwalk because I wanted to have a second one with my neon colors. Because for some reason, I haven't drawn Warwalk and my neon style digitally. I have two hunters, one is Kate and one is the hunter that I drew on my, actually I finished it on my birthday. So I hope you enjoy the process of me drawing this one.
then we go to the beach and this is one of my favorite places it's called Arkutunu beach I love going there because the sand is beautiful and I can also windsurfing and you're gonna see me just about now this is, that is me with the green windsurf just having fun and it was awesome day we had so much fun the water was so clean it was warm it was beautiful because it's summer we can gather together in the same garden and also see cats because why not i love cats so they will be very much existing in all of my artworks apparently The same day I was having um, a meeting with my two soul sisters, Trail and Lex, and we had so much fun and just enjoying the, the opportunity to be together because uh, Lex is not living here and we can gather together not very often, so we're having some fun. Now for the final part of my art journal and I love it making the cover <laughs> yes making the cover oh I waited for this for a very long time and um, truth be told I made the cover with some of my artwork uh, I have the fan art that I did for my birthday and the hunter from destiny i also have um the fan art of connor from detroit become human the fan art cover that i did for Amazon zax remix from ATO family song which are actually ATO and alexius combining and one personal art that i did i think two years ago when the pandemic starts so yeah and truth to be told, this time I definitely approached this uh, original quite differently. Uh, I didn't use my heated um, pistol glue. Yeah, I, I hope I said it correctly this time. And I just used a double sided tape. And because I'm not gonna use this uh, sketchbook or a journal outside of my home, that's why I decided to go with what I have. And I didn't have... I'm not sure that I have my glue pistol nearby. So I decided to just use whatever I had. And this is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And um, if you do, consider subscribing to the channel, give it a thumbs up to the video and probably support me on Patreon if you want to see more behind the scenes and if you want to see what I am actually using for this art journal or my other journals because honestly I don't share everything in social media and most of the things that I am showing are in my Patreon. And like usual, I will try my best to give links to all of the materials that I have used in this video so you can find them out and check it out. And uh, yeah, thank you so much, guys, for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.